Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, today we'll be talking about our 1975 Brooklyn SV1. This was a gullwing sports car manufactured in the mid-70s in New Brunswick, Canada by company founder Malcolm Brooklyn. These cars had an all fiberglass body with bonded acrylic. They came in five colors. Each of these colors were known as safety colors and the SV1 stood for Safety Vehicle 1. The Brooklyn colors were Safety Green, Safety White, Safety Red, and Safety Orange. Bonded acrylic body resulted in a high failure rate and a bunch of manufacturing issues. Some panels cracked while still in their molds and the idea originally was that this would be a safe and economical sports car, but the total weight of the car, which was 3,520 pounds, made it really just a safe sports car, but the economical part didn't really exist. The Safety Vehicle 1 had no ashtrays or lighters from factory to discourage smoking, and that was because Malcolm Bricklin believed that smoking and driving was an unsafe thing to do. This is the only car that has ever been designed with gullwing doors that were automated so that the push of a button, the door would go up slowly and at the same push, it would go down. All 1975 Bricklands had the Ford Windsor 351 cubic inch engine and they all had automatic transmissions. My window won't roll, roll down so I can't even trash talk you. So on the count of three, one, two, three, all right? I'm gonna honk. Does this thing have a horn? I don't even know if it has a horn. All right, you honk, one, two, three, you. Here we go. Oh, the DeLorean pulled away. <laughs> yes. Even though it only has 130 horsepower, it just got the better launch because of the transmission gearing. Don't feel like you have to get out. I know you're kind of stuck in there, but did you give this? You had the jump on me a little bit too. I did. And it's still with 100 more horsepower just because of that transmission, huh? I think it's the transmission. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Brooklyn's failure to mass produce the visionary car was a result of lack of capital, too few development resources too little time, too few engineers, and the necessity of starting a small car company from scratch. Because Brooklyn was not able to produce cars fast enough or efficiently, it failed, and that's why they don't currently make Bricklands. At the end of their venture, the Brooklyn company owed the New Brunswick government $21 million and it only produced about 2,800 or roughly 3,000 cars in total. Be sure to come by the Midwest Dream Car Collection and check out this Brooklyn for yourself as it is car number 1,753 of only 2,854 built.